Dr. Alex is back out. Last time you were here, it was Maybell's feet. Yep. This time it was Holly. Now that's Kelly's Holly, and she loves Kelly. Yes, she does. And apparently she likes you. Well, and it, you know, you warmed up so to far. <laughs> how much, if you had to guess, just a rough estimate, how much of your work is on feet? I, you know, quite a bit. I, especially this time of year mm -hmm. when we hit spring. Right. We've got lush green grass full of sugar and carbohydrates, which a lot of our horses and don't need. Right. Um, so much of, uh, especially donkey being naturally a desert animal, not needing all the all the uh, fresh green grass. You know, this is pretty good for her really because it's a rocky hillside, which mm -hmm. would be a little bit more natural footing for a donkey. I mean, the big thing that we worry about is laminitis. It's when those lamina get inflamed. And when they become inflamed, those lamina actually separate uh, and you can imagine if you had a fingernail that separated, that would be pretty painful. And then especially if, you know, um, a quarter or more of your body weight were dependent upon that oh, yeah. surface. So the other, the other part of that that becomes painful in laminitis is, is the bone inside the hoof, which is P3 or the coffin bone. Because that lamina separates, which is what suspends that, that, that bone inside the foot, that bone can actually go from level to rotated. Mm -hmm. And that's what's known as founder. Gotcha. So that's, that's painful because then all that pressure is going straight to the tip of the bone rather than being dispersed through the foot in the gotcha. suspension system. So she is not laminitic, she's not foundered. Now give us a preview of uh, what you'll do to get her treated today. So depending on her level of cooperation. Which seems um, to be pretty good so far. Yeah, I mean she's warmed up pretty quickly, more than it seemed like she was going to. Well, um, basically trying to get her hoof back to flat. We want, we want the, the weight, her body weight, in contact with the ground dispersed as evenly as possible. Gotcha. So we're just gonna trim away dead hoof, cracked hoof to a certain point. We don't wanna get into that sensitive lamina. Uh, we wanna stay in sort of the, the tissue that's already grown out, like mm -hmm. the whites of your fingernail. You know, right. it's not a sensitive part to trim. All right, so this is a rasp. What we do with this rasp is kind of clean up these edges, round off the toe. You can see where we've taken the extra off, squared that toe up a little bit, and now she's putting most of the pressure from the heel bulbs across the front of the toe instead of rocking back on those heel bulbs and kind of displacing her weight, so. Well, how'd she do? I think she did really well. Um, there are plenty of donkeys out there that I have to sedate to do what we did, especially when it comes to the back feet. Uh, I imagine. Yeah. I've seen her out here playing. They play rough. Her and Junior have fun. Mm -hmm. She'll kick that foot out there and knock him upside the face and yeah. he'll stop for a minute like, right. I'm done. Yeah. I'm done. Yeah, even for an 800 pound bull, you know, seer yeah. calf, he, he still feels it, so. Well, she's got her nails all done. She's got a new halter on. She's ready to go to town. Yeah, she, I think she's about to forgive us. She's coming back. I'll probably call in a couple of weeks. That's probably time for the girls to Take a look at them. Okay. Make sure they're good and healthy because I'm thinking about bringing a ram in because we, we like our lamb. Yeah, yeah, I don't blame you. Thanks. That sounds good, man. Give Thanks, me a call. Thanks, Dr. Alex. I appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm ready.